Hey and welcome, my name is Hassan Rubey and in this video I'm going to present the paper of how library migration impacts software quality and comparisons. So before we start, let's get a simple example about API. API is application program interface. A simple example I can give you is the Facebook application. When you open a Facebook application, you see information about the weather based on your current location. Well, Facebook is a social media company and they will not care about implementing functionality related to the weather. Rather than, rather than that, they just call existing library, they send them their location or existing API, such as Yahoo Weather API, they send them their existing location, then they retrieve the weather information based on your location. So the APIs or the library provide outstanding services and features for the developers. And based on an existing study we did, there is on 57,000 projects, 95% of these projects depend on third party libraries. On average, there's around 65 process of upgrade or migration in every single project. So all these numbers you see it, you definitely think about software maintenance or library maintenance. Well, you use an exist library and well, for some time then this library is no longer supported, it's just deprecated. Or the, you find a cheaper library, they say, okay, another library is cheaper, provide better service. Or another library has a high performance, so you need to move from one library to another. We call library migration. For example, you are using JSON and you want to move to JSON. In this case, you have to go through the code and search whenever there is any call from the JSON or the method call from the JSON library and replace it with the method calls from JSON, which seems you should replace it with the same method. Well, not same method, another method from the another library do same functionality. So you want to keep the behavior same when you migrate from one library to another. So this is a basic example I can give you where developer did migrate from JSON version 1.111 to JSON point 222. So for example, in the first example, there is a put method is get replaced by other property. And the second example, that there is a put method that get replaced by add property and to JSON. The reason here we need two functions because they have a map. So a map you need to change it to Citrix. So we need two functions first cast, then we call add property. And the third example, the developer get did replace two methods with two different methods. It's, it's empty and put get replaced with to JSON null and add. So you see like in migration, you could replace one method with one, one with many, many, too many. There is an existing study that studied the challenges with library migration on with the code, such as like one of them show, show that like library migration doesn't happen in one single comment. It could happen in multiple comments. We ca they call delayed migration. Another study shows that migration happened between different versions. Like if you get like JSON and this and J, you could see there's migration happening from 0.4.4 to 4.3 and different. It's just migration could happen between any different two versions. You don't have to go from one version to another. Another study showed like the, um, the type of migration process could, could take up to 42 days for developer to perform a migration from one library to another. Another study also shows that migration mostly done, done by developer with high experience because companies, they don't want to break their code. So when they want to do migrations, they want developer with high experience to do migrations. So they reduce the possibility of having regression in the code. So they say, okay, let me give it for the developer with high experience with the code. So we make sure we have less possibility of regression. But however, so as you can see here, like the migration is subjective, error prone, time consuming and manually. How all this research just talk about how migration happen and how was the impact of migrations on like in developer side, the time and challenges. No one yet discuss the impact of migration on the software quality. Like, okay, I did migration from my library to another. What's the impact of my, on the migration on my software? Like, did this migration make my software better or did this like made my software bad? And this is what we are going to do in this paper. Or what we did in this paper, we studied the impact of library migration on software quality. So we, the study we did it on the existing data set provided by, by uh, existing paper, they just provide a data set for uh, projects 
have a migrations. So what we did, or methodology, we just took this project, we scanned this project one by one, we run migration minor. Migration minor is just a tool that could detect whenever migration happens. So if you give it like 10 projects, it will tell you like in that project, in that common, there's migration happen from this library to another. In that project, there's migration happen from JSON to JSON. In that project, there's migration happen from test NJ to J unit. So just identify the points on or the comments where the migration happened from one library to another. So we get, so by running this tool or migration minor on all these uh, uh, projects, we, we, we had a list of the comments on the project where the migration happened. Now we want to study the impact of software quality or, or the impact of migration on the software quality. So what we did, we get some tools such as like, we want to study the design improvement. So we got understand tool to, and we run the tool on the code after migration and on the code before migration. And keep in mind, we did not run on all the classes. We ran only on the classes that involve in migration because well, the comment could have a different changes. Don't, don't have to have only changes related to the migration. So we tried to exclude this file, this, the, the, the files that has no migrations to just reduce the false positive. And same thing, we study the code readability. So we run some code readability uh, tools on the code before the migration and we collect the information and we run it after the migration and we collect the information. And besides that, we, de we design our ranking model to rank the method mapping examples based on the quality. So what that mean, a single method mapping, such as you see it in this screen, it could have multiple examples. We could we could collect it. We could collect this mapping from different example in the code. So what is the best example developer should follow? That's what we did in this research question. Like we try to rank examples based on the which one has a better quality. So when someone wants to migrate from one library to another, he or she just go to the method uh, just go to the or portal, just type the library name and see the method name after that, then using the method name, you could see, he or she could see list of the examples of migration example, existing exam, migration examples that have been done by developers and get ranking based on the quality. Which one better will go first so the developer could follow them? Because as, as we said previously, it's, the migration is subjective. Developer could take one method to, same method could be migrated differently by different developers. So it's better to give uh, a rank example based on which one is better. And this is exactly how our methodology run. So let me just study, or let me just now go to the questions question by question and see like what the result we did get for every such question. First one, design improvement. Like, okay, what the impact of software, of library migration of software quality? What the impact on the library migration on the uh, uh, coupling, cohesion, and complexity. And uh, this is the result we got. We got like, we could see that clearly the coupling get down and cohesion is not here. Cohesion is the lack of cohesion, so it's the opposite of the cohesion. It's, it also went down, that is mean the cohesion went up. So because the good software quality have to have lower co low coupling, high cohesion. And here you could see low coupling, low lack of cohesion. It is the opposite of cohesion. And also you see the complexity also went down. So in the three examples, for example, for the coupling, we went from average 2.0 to 1.8. From the lack of cohesion, we went from average of 5.4 to 4.8. And complexity, same thing. We went from 1.5 to 1. Point, uh, 1 from 1.59 to 1.50. Oh. However, like, okay, why? Let's get some examples why. This example from one of projects is about coupling. So you see the, ex the old calls, that it's the same call, just the, dev the developer had to use three methods to, to do same functionality in the new library with one single method. So, okay, exactly reduce the coupling. So instead you do three calls from three different places, you do only one single call to one place. So, okay, less coupling. This is very simple example of how migration lead to low coupling. Same thing about cohesion. You see like in, the, in this example, the developer in the previous, before migration, on the, the code before the migration, had to use two calls from the methods that, and, and from the, 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 the retired libraries 
that two calls are placed with the one call. So now, single method could have the same functionality of two methods in the, in the deprecated library. I mean, what that mean? Like, I mean, okay, the, the methods more represent itself, so yeah higher cohesion, so the method better itself better. So here like, okay, this is a two example I get them, I got them from the code, show you like how the coupling get improved and how the cohesion get improved. The other research question I we would I would talk here about is, does migration improve code readabilities? So again, the results show us, this is two approaches by between two existing studies there are two tools, they just, you run them on the code, they generate the readability of the code. So you would see both these tools show us the readability improved, like from the first, the first tool improved from 4.67 to 4.8, and for the second tool improved from 0.56 to 0 0.60. So yeah, definitely there is readability improved by using two tools. We used two tools to reduce false positives and to see like how these two tools uh, measure the readabilities of the code. And this is example like, okay, why, why could readability get improved? So you see like in the retired library, we use a put method, while in the new library, we use add property. Yeah, add property is most likely most readable. And when we run the, the tool that detects the readability, you can tell the readability score like went from 0.00, 0001 to like 0. 0.0002. That's mean, yeah, definitely there is improvement or readability in this code. Like, okay, you just say put or you say put property, you just make the code more readable. So, yeah, this readability get improved. A third research question we study here, as I said, we study like, okay, can we help developers to have better migration experience? As exactly as I said, like, uh, single method mapping could have multiple examples. So can we have, can we make, let, can we help developers to pick the best examples? What we did, we write this function and this function is show you like the, the, how we give a score for every instance of method mapping. We just, it is some of the coupling cohesion complexity and readability. So what we do, like if you look at this example here, uh, it is just a migration between create stick mock to mock and you see that we find it in four different uh, projects But based on this project we have different uh, scores. So first one 2.4 second one 2.2 third one is 2.1 and the fourth one is 1.7 This uh, score get uh, get calculated based on this factions. So we just like Okay uh, we for for every single instance we we sum the couple cohesion complexity readability and we make it a one score and we rank them so developer could see them ranking and pick the best one and well this is just we did it we need to validate it is if it's, is this a scoring good or bad we talk with the uh, uh, senior engineer from outstanding companies and we just give them. Uh, 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 we give them all this ranking and we ask every engineer to see if he agree with the ranking or not so what does that mean like we give them score from uh, like uh, uh, I mean the, we give them for example first developer we give them like j migration between JSON to JSON and you see there is a method mapping you can see and every method mapping there is multiple examples and the developer have to pick which example they think has high score or has uh, has high quality so when we give them the developer just pick examples and if you see this figure show you like most developers agree around like 59 percent of them agree the first ranked example is the best one it has high qualities and you go to the second 21 third 14 and then go for fourth and fifth example so this is the way that we validate the scoring. And as you can tell, you, we could have some limitations here. Well, first of all, the developer are the human and, and they may do a mistake and they may not be, the, 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 I mean, they're, they're, the way that they evaluate the quality of the code may not be that pretty accurate. They are still human subjects. And the tool that we use, we use multiple tools here. We use the tools to measure the uh, coupling cohesion complexity, such as understand C++. We use the tools by two existing studies to study the code readabilities. All these are tools. These tools may have false positives and we may not get a really good, I mean, really, really accurate result. Also, well, this, 
this uh, this study may not may, may not be applied if the migration is required so for example you may use a library and and that library is no longer support anymore and you got to migrate to another library and you know that library is bad but you just you have to because previous library is not supported the study we did it as i show you we did it on nine popular migration rules and these nine popular is really now ones such as like json to json this nj uh, to j unit easy mark to mokito all these very popular uh, frameworks and we may we may have false positive if we study or we did the experiment on the have to migration such i said like you have to migrate so yeah i hope all what i did like enough to explain everything about this paper and if you have any question let me know thank you for watching and bye